I'm going to be making a gridded up portrait of Chris Robshaw. I've started by putting a grid over the picture that I want to copy and then another grid on a separate piece of paper. If you want the drawing to be the same size then you need to make the grids, the squares, the same size. If you want to make the drawing larger, then you're going to have to make the squares larger. So I'm just going to count how many squares are vertically and horizontally across the portrait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. Roughly 12 across and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I think I've got the same number of squares on here. 9, 10, 11, yeah. So I'm going to have enough space. So I think I'm going to start at the top of the head. I'll look at this square first. Now on the top right hand corner there's a little piece of black where the top of the head starts. So that starts roughly I think I'll make my brush size slightly smaller. roughly there. So the next square you see where the line of the top of the head joins up with the line in the corner and that dips down slightly there. The next square there's only a little bit in the corner, so I'm just going to put that. So you just start from one square and work your way work your way um, around the picture. So at this square here on the side you can see that the part of the head comes about a third of the way along the edge of the square, so about here, and and then the ends about another third, just less than a third on the other square here. And if you join those up, that's roughly where the side of the head continues. So I'm just going to continue to the next square and I can see that there's a, a small area immediately underneath. You might call it the negative space, the space around the head in there where that part of the head starts and finishes and then I'll continue down so this is probably again slightly less than a third that's where that one and then moves across to the other side almost just a little over half and I'm going to continue around the rest of the head drawing in the outline of the head. You need to just double check and make sure that you haven't added any extra areas when you finish at the end. So I'm now just going to continue
I'll do a bit of drawing before I start adding uh, colour to the portrait to make it look a little bit more realistic. Just a bit of shadow running down the side of the cheek. Carry on drawing these hatching lines following the shape of the face where the shadows are. I'm going to under the nose as there's some shadow here and I'm going to use a contour line to follow around the edge of the, the face. So you start feeling the shape of the face and it's looking it's looking very much like a, a sketch at the moment. So this is how you would build a sketch up without worrying too much 